And now it's time for Money Matters. It's a new year, and maybe you're ready for a new career. This week, we're talking with CEO and founder Matt Dickin of Strategic Wealth Designers about finding success as an entrepreneur. Happy New Year to you. Happy Glad New to have Year to you here. as well. Thanks for having me. Well, this is a really interesting thing. You started your firm about 17 years ago from the ground up, but you're also the owner of Strategic Wealth Racing, in which you're a, profess yeah. a professional race car driver. I yeah. love that. How exciting is that? Sure. What are some tips for those who are taking that leap or thinking about it into their own business? Well, kind of New Year's, right? New Year's resolution. So some people may be thinking about this as finally the year they take the step and start their own company. Uh, I think the most important thing is you have to find something that you are really, really passionate about. Not just something you like, but something you are really committed to and, and convicted. Because it is very, very difficult to get a business off the ground and, and make sure it's successful. Uh, some statistics that aren't fun to talk about, but after five years, about 80% of businesses have failed. You go out 10 years and only 4% are still in business for 10 years. So it's gotta be something that you're really committed to and can weather the storm because it's usually a lot harder than what you would think. Those are very alarming numbers, but obviously you have found a way to make it work. What are some of those other pitfalls that you might warn people about? I, I think it's really two things. You know, Going into business being completely underfunded uh, and not knowing when to ask someone for help. So, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times with anything that we do, any major project, a lot of times it kind of costs twice as much as you think and takes twice as long. Yeah. And the same thing is true with starting a business. So you've got to make sure you have enough money to maintain your, your household and your lifestyle until that business reaches profitability and be realistic with those expectations. The other thing that I've seen is if you start to struggle a little bit, you know, you don't start a business unless you think you can do things better. And that confidence is good when you're starting a business, but it can help you or it can hurt you when that business starts to struggle and that you don't go to peers or mentors or consultants for help or advice soon enough like you should because you just think you'll figure it out on your own. You talked about finding that passion. Do you find sometimes that people overlook the obvious, the thing that they really love doing? That probably, um, and that is for, for me, I, I pretty much knew from the age of 12 I wanted to go into finances and investing. And so for me, I started originally with another firm, kind of got my feet wet, and then at a young age, 23, went out and started the company myself. So sometimes you may think that you're not ready, but at some point you've just got to jump into the deep end and go for it. The race car driving, that is jumping into the deep end. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. No problem. And to learn more from Matt on this topic or other business news, visit WKYT.com slash Money Matters. If you have something you want us to discuss, send an email to news at WKYT.com. We'll talk about it live on the air.